AJ, how do you feel about, you know, this has kind of become something in sports. Minor League Baseball Park started this entire thing, okay? So I remember the Washington Wild thing. Bang, 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 bang. So they had like a jacuzzi, I think, in the out tub or, or, or in the outfield. They had a hot tub out there. I don't know if it was them or somebody they were playing, but somehow I found out that these minor league parks were awesome. I started looking into it. There's entire things happening in minor league ballparks. And then Jerry builds Jerry World, and there's nightclubs. There's mm-hmm. performances going on. There's this entire – it's an event when you go to the stadium. So maybe you're not the most interested in what's going on on the field, but we want to get you in the building. Jacksonville, whenever – uh, Shad Khan became the owner. They did a stadium revamp. They had two pools in there. They had like a brunch party happening. People were at the game who had no fucking idea there was a game going on or cared. They were at a sweet club. The Las Vegas Raiders have struck a deal with uh, Wynn, W-Y-N-N, and they will have a 17,000 square foot club in one end of Allegiant Stadium. Uh, There will be DJs performing. There will be bottle service. There will be an entire thing going there. There will be people that will buy tickets to go to Vegas to watch their team play that'll get into the Wynn nightclub and they will not see one fucking player their team playing in that thing. Is it called the Wynn Zone? It should be. Uh, It's a Wynn-branded end zone nightclub. I would assume it is titled the Wynn Zone. That would be sick. But imagine if they have like full... What if... (laughs) What if there's like a full DJ performance standing <laughs> yeah. up there? Okay. Yeah. And like, uh, you know, the sky cam is covering something. There's a guy running down there. And fucking Calvin Harris is like yeah. doing this entire thing going on. It could be insane. And by the way, I think that's how stadiums are going to become. I think it's just going to become more and more a spectacle so you can just get people in the building. The Indy 500 has been doing this for a long time. There's like 300, 400,000 people at the Indy 500. 200,000 of them are in the infield. And they have no idea a race is even going on. They're a festival there to carnival i assume that this is what the wind zone is going to be like in las vegas uh this is going to continue to grow i think to other stadiums as well well oh yeah absolutely i think it makes sense for vegas like are they going to have even like the the bottle service girls bringing yeah. the, the bottles sparklers? with the, the, uh, sure. with the sparklers uh-huh. in there oh my god I mean, the drums mm-hmm. yeah listen i've been on one of the i've been in one of those drum lines okay in a club like actually in the dr- walking with the bottle, the whole thing. <laughs> and it is, every time, electric. Okay, that drum line brings a lot of smiles, a lot of energy. I'd assume the wind zone is gonna have that from tailgate time <laughs> oh, yeah. all the way through final whistle. I would assume that thing is gonna go all day there. Instead of going to a pool party, okay, just come to yep. this thing, watch yep. a game. All the tickets, I think, are gone anyways because all the casinos bought all the seat licenses. I would assume that they're going to make so much money from visiting fans, and there's going to be so many fans that will not even remember one <laughs> down in that place over there. The DJs, like, timing up touchdowns, oh, too. Oh, like, if yeah. they know there's either a goal line Yeah, there's run. rules, isn't there, on when you can play music and when you can't? I wonder how... Oh, it's soundproof in there. That'd be crazy. I did, dude, go to the photo. It seems like that is... Wide open. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Got it right in there. By the way, as somebody who had to stand on the sideline for a long, long time, these types of things would have been awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If there's just a club going on. <laughs> oh, a guy just fell off a glass table. <laughs> Holy shit. Right over there, off the yeah. table. Vinny, dude. Hey, remember that fat white we were talking about? Mustache stooge? He just passed out. Oh, he saw him over there. Pat, it's fourth down. How many times do they play? All I do is win. Game. That pool, when that pool got introduced to Jacksonville, dude, what a scene. It was... It was the first time we were there. I'm, I don't think it, they debuted it that day, but there was people that were in those pools partying their asses. Yeah. I mean, it was a entirely different experience up there than what – and it's not that far from the field. It was like right there in the corner almost. I'm like, Vinny, look at this. They don't even know we're playing down here. Pretty no. good game, by the way. They don't even know we're in this thing. I think that's smart. I just think it's good business. I think it's smart business. Get anybody's money that you can. You got to make it a spectacle. You got to make it something people want to go see, pictures to be taken, stories to be written feels like the right move the oakland a's i guess allegedly are are moving out of oakland yeah so the raiders they leave oakland they go to las vegas 
Now, allegedly, the A's are on their way out. If they can't strike a deal to build a new stadium, which I'd assume they're not going to be able to do, this was the same thing that happened with the Raiders, Oakland might lose their baseball team as well. The people of Oakland don't deserve this. They don't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they don't. But you, don't you think these stadiums, we're going to see this way more because the, the in-home experience is getting better and better every day. Theater rooms, oh, yeah. you know, 95-inch yeah. plasma, or not plasma, 95-inch awesome LED TV for 4, cheaper 000. than it ever was. 4, yeah, they're very available everywhere. You don't have to have beer get dumped on you. If you're in mm -hmm. Vegas what all weekend you? and you stumble Sunday into Sunday. Last, let's just say you <laughs> accidentally get there on Friday. Yeah. Right? It, That's usually, if you book a trip to Vegas, you usually get there Friday afternoon, yeah. leave Monday morning. That's it, how it is. No, I think first time people go Sunday. Thursday. Then they, they leave Sunday night or Monday, and that's one day too long, yeah. okay? Friday to Sunday <laughs> is the proper length, but by Sunday, you are- You're a zombie. You are <laughs> in a, and as soon as you take, as soon as it one, <laughs> da, 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 you're just right back in, and, and, and then you're just delaying the yeah. inevitable, which is at the end of that game, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So sorry to interrupt. Hi! Did you know at the age of 30, your testosterone levels start dropping 1% per year? Wow! 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 That means you're gonna get fatter, more tired, and lose the strength that you once Hi! had. But no worries, our friends at Roman have the perfect product for you. So you can get back to banging weights, banging humans and living your best life. 15 dollars off right now. Get roman.com forward slash USA. Back to the action. Hey! Isn't that pretty standard though for any NFL stadium on a Sunday? I don't think so, because I think this would be promoting it a little bit more. And if it was a Sunday night game, too. Especially if a lot of the packages well, this, are like through the you know casinos and they're going there to stay, and then you can just upgrade yeah. to going into the, like this thing. Bottle you, service. Yeah, and then exactly. Tell you what, I to, can't wait to try it out and see how it yeah. goes. <laughs> wait, will this go be fins, open? Huh? Let's go Dolphins, huh? When there's no football game? Hmm? Like, can they do that? Like on a Sunday, can they just have just, a brunch? Yeah, yeah the nightclub. <laughs> just go. Probably. Are they opening up so like stadiums can be used as nightclubs? Hey, wouldn't that be awesome if the bat? Now that's a bit off the strip. Is it off the strip? Where's it at? Is it on the I strip? I think it's off the strip. It's off. But it's not far away though. You see it as you like you drive right by it from the airport. Oh, well, it's a massive stadium. Of course you see it. Okay, it's in the middle not. of the desert. <laughs> it's not in the middle of the desert. It's in the middle of built up Las Vegas desert. What are you saying? It's not like out there. It's not out by Area Fifty One. It's well, you see it. It's right. Area it's not 51? on the strip. That's but in it's New Mexico. Not too cool. Have you ever been to Area Fifty One? I have never been there. How do you know? Do you know anybody been, that's been there? I've been to Wright Pat Air Force Base. That's where some people think Whoa. aliens may have been stored. Ooh.